Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Disney Duo. I am Jimmy, and I'm joined once again by my sister, Katie. Hello, everyone. Yes. It's nice to see you. Actually, I can't see you, but you can see me. Yes, in the future. Hello from the past. Isn't video stuff weird? Like, Ooh, boogly boogly. <laughs> on today's show, we'll be talking specifically about that. No. Uh, <laughs> so if you've been following us, we've kind of been going through the Walt Disney World parks and talking about our favorite rides. In Magic Kingdom, we talked about our top five because there's so many attractions over there. Epcot, we did top three. Yeah. And today, we're hitting up Disney's Hollywood Studios, a.k.a. MGM Studios, for the OG folks. Uh, but we're going to do three again, because out of all of the parks right now, I I think technically they might have the least amount of rides. Yes. Now, for us, we're talking about specifically rides, things you get in, vehicles that move. Yes. And once again, for the last time, maybe, Carousel Progress does count as a ride-slash-stage show, because it moves around, so yes. just to get that out of the way. Anyway... Top three. Let's start with your third, your bronze. What is it? Well, I know. I have always called it Midway Mania or Toy Story Mania. Toy Story Midway Mania. Yeah. Toy Story Midway Mania. Why do you like Toy Story? Well, there's not many choices. Because <laughs> <laughs> they good. ruined my favorite ride of all time, so I had to come up with a third one, which was the Great Movie Ride, which you know is going away. So, Excellent. Yeah. It's anyways, fun. it's just a fun ride, I guess. It's fun yeah. to just have that kind of carnival. Sure like feel and moving around fast in the little cars and spinning around this is not supposed to be like a show where we debate about this but how do you feel about the implementation of the pulley string system in the ride <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i break your wrist <laughs> yeah i think if it was more of like a button system of some sort like sure I don't want to say like a gun, kind of like. But like Astro Blaster yeah, over, like Astro over Blaster. Buzz Lightyear's uh, spin. Yeah, I'm, to spin. I'm not fond of that. It's very difficult to. Yeah, I don't it like that. Yeah, weird, it's weird. It's a weird I don't know thing. why they do that. I feel like those things would break. I do too. I don't know. That's What's your favorite one? You like the. You like, I, I think favorite, the ride vehicle's fun. I like that it moves around like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 I think the theming, as I typically talk about pretty frequently, is like really cool when you walk in. Sure. Yeah. Like the queue line and everything is pretty it's neat. The best it could be, I think. Right. Well, you're not a big Toy Story fan. So. No, I'm. I'm so sorry, guys. I really don't like Toy Story at all. Uh, which will be very confusing when we start talking about my my rides. Uh, well, there's not many choices. Yeah, there's, there's not, there's a, not a lot. I wonder if you know it's going to be very different. But I wonder if Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway will be a, your one of your favorites then, depending on what the ride vehicles like. Yeah. And they've talked about that being like. 2.5 dimensional where you don't have to have the 3D glasses but they'll still be kind of like 3D effects. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that'll be really good. And you said that was kind of going to be like the Ratatouille? Maybe. Like maybe. screens? We'll see. They'll probably be, There's going to be a ton of screens I think. Okay. Ton, they love their screens. They I haven't screens. done any of those People yet. People so. screens. Yeah, It'll Ratatouille's trackless too. I wonder if they'll make this one trackless. I don't know. Questions. Anyway, that's yours. Toy what's Story yours? Midway Mania. Yeah, what's yours? I didn't think about this because I have, like, the two that I want to pick, but then I was like, what's my third one going to be? Uh, honestly, and this is going to sound really weird, I really, really enjoy um, Alien Swirling Saucers. I really like that ride. The ride itself is fun. I don't think the theming, like, theming is fine for all the Toy yeah. Story stuff, but, like, the actual ride itself was really, really enjoyable because it does whip you around and you, you get moving. I like the LGMs. Uh, the little green men who are all like, ooh, like that. Like, they're saying that and their little music is playing. <laughs> it's like a really jolly, like, kind of understated thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it'd be better at night because I'm sure the lights uh, look way better over yeah. there. Uh, but I really like that ride. And I rode it with Levi. We had a fun time. Uh, if you're going to go on this ride with anybody, it's either like a close friend of yours or like a significant other because <laughs> if it's not, you're going to be after the ride. You know, like you can't just be like random person and be like this. We won't touch because you're like. Rah! Yeah, like into the person. I haven't yeah. ridden on it. I haven't been there since they've yeah. added that land. Mm -hmm. It's a Toy Story land. Yeah, and I know a lot of people will be like, Slinky Dog. Slinky Dog is a weird ride because you think it's kind of a kitty coaster. It's not. And it, <laughs> it cooks like it moves like and it's it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> like and it feels like it was designed by a child and i mean that in the best way because there's a part where it's just like they just do this for a little bit and it's like why like <laughs> <laughs> why i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> slinky dog i only wrote it once um but for some reason i really like i think because i had no expectation for oh, swirling yeah. saucer i was like this is gonna suck and then i got on it and it doesn't look cool when you're looking at it but when you're on it it's like 
it feels ridiculous. Well, it's like and, a scrambler. Yeah, like, and it, yeah. A carnival scrambler yeah. ride. Basically. And it got me, well, kind of, well, and it's got, like they swing out and you think you're going to oh, hit yeah. other people. That's yeah. the scary thing. And I love that. But then it got me. <laughs> I love that. It gave me the courage. Well, not that I needed the courage, but I went on uh, the teacups for, I think, for the first time, <laughs> like by myself. And I was just like, you know, I'm going to sit on this. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to spin. I'm going to spin it up. And it was ridiculous. It's scary. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, moving okay. on. Silver. Silver. Well,. I guess Hollywood Tower of Terror. <laughs> I guess maybe one of the most iconic attractions in Disney history. Uh, what, okay, Hollywood Tower of Terror. So just Tower of Terror, top for those who love just like going on a hot pot. You know what I'm saying? No, I calls it that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just made that up. Hashtag hot dot. If you watch this video, tweet me hashtag hot dot. Uh, so hot tot. I like hot tot. What do you like about Tower of Terror? Well, obviously the ride mechanic. I love just up, like up ripping into it. Yeah, I love I love how it goes up and down. Uh, well, yes, but I also yeah. I think the first time I had ever gone on it, I was really young. I wish I could find the picture. If I do, maybe we can oh, like yeah. splice it. That'd in. be cool. I don't but know. It was like with my aunt and cousins, and I had never gone on it before. And they're like, "You need to go on it. It'll be fine." And this is like back in the day when they had like the bar over four people. So like, yeah. if you were smaller than the people sitting with you, you would be rising out of your seat. Which I did. And my face is blood red yeah. in the picture, screaming. Yeah. And they're all like, ah, and I'm like, my cousin's like holding my hand, and then she's like, ah, you know, so terrifying. Um, I think it was most scared that you could move forward in the ride first, and then you go into the actual like elevator mechanic. Yep. Which I find very fascinating, and my brain still can't figure that out. Yep. yep. I understand the whole system now, but back in the day, like, as a kid, you're like, oh, what is happening? Yeah. So, I cool, though. I remember going there with my friend Steven. Um, Steven, if you're watching this, I love you. But we... <laughs> I don't know if it was that ride or Rockin'. There was one ride, because he'd never been there before. He did one of these rides first... And then I rode with him and we did one that we'd never done together. And it might have been Tower of Terror because we yeah. both, I think he like leaned over to me when it's, when you get to the top and it moves forward. And he's like, oh, this is getting weird. Or he's <laughs> like, oh, really breaking the immersion. Your elevator's moving forward and set up and down. Uh, yeah. But I think the reason I like Tower of Terror a lot is everything but the ride. I love the lobby. I yeah. love the yeah. library. I love the... Uh, the service area. Yes, I would agree. And the theming is on point. And not to steal from your story, but no, when I nice. was younger, I liked to go through that sequence and not go on the ride myself. <laughs> and they have a terrifying thing. If you want to, there is another elevator for those who are um, maybe more excited for the challenge. But you get to go on one that you don't go on the ride. You basically just take a little elevator down to the lobby yes. or to the to that yeah to the lobby. No, it's in the lobby. It's like the gift shop. The gift shop. Uh, yeah. But you go down there, but they it opens up, and it's like this beautiful, like, stainless steel elevator that looks like nothing else there, and there's like one cast member in there. And I remember waiting for it by myself, and just like getting in there, people were like, what's, what's he doing? Like, you know, I was like getting in this ride by myself, and just like, just, they're just shut, and I'm just like, oh, I looked really cool leaving there. But I was like, I'm terrified, so I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna go. Like, I'm like, I don't want to like, do this. Like, he's not going in the one they actually sit down in, no. it's like a legit Just, elevator. I was stand. it was just standing room only, which is great, because probably like, uh, there's one where you can just stand. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be that'd be very terrifying. It would kill you. Uh, yes, yes. But yeah, because I used to do that with like Splash Mountain and stuff. I would like get. I would used to be worried that I was gonna get stuck in the log. Like I'd step through the log. And I'm like, I'm oh. not riding. Right. <laughs> They're like pull you in. Why you gotta take the stairs, man? Yeah. This, wait. The, there's a little ramp, right? Well, they used over to have splash. stairs over. Yeah. I think they still do. But yeah. Tower of Terror. That's a good one. I was thinking about picking that for my silver, but I what's didn't. What's your silver? Oh, what's my silver? Uh, it's a little one that uh, out of all these rides is the only one to make me tear up a little bit. Oh, I know it. Star Tours. Star Tours. Not an incredibly good ride. I used to get sick on it when I was a kid. That darn comet sequence will, will mess you up. It'll, It'll you up. wreck uh, you. Yeah. Yes. But when they started doing the different overlays for the new movies, I remember riding it when we went back in 2013, and this is when we started to see these. But when you take off in the beginning, uh, I had this this moment for me, uh, where we're, you're about to take off, and c 3 is freaking out or whatever, and you're about to leave, and the Empire runs in, and there's my boy. Darth Vader force grips the thing and we try to get away and he's like no and I was like kill me now like if, if I'm <laughs> gonna me. die it's gonna be to Vader I'm gonna be like yeah. oh like the lightsaber's gonna go right through me and I'll be like yes this is how it was meant to be but like I love that and I love that it changes all the time uh, I love that they still have like the really really old school like uh, boarding information like yes. they show people like in the ride like these old kind of costumes and stuff I like that yeah and it's a weird ride because it doesn't go anywhere 
Yeah. But it feels like you're going with And right. I like the feeling of light speed. I love when you're like, mm -hmm. like, that is really cool. And you don't know where you're going to go now. And that's yeah. the, I think with screens, like Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, yeah. I hope they change it up a lot. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. But I like Star Tours. And I just, I'm a Star Wars fan. I love Star Wars. So, I mean, like, look right here, like, Darth Mickey. Like, if you can kind of see it. But, like, yeah, I just, I think it's so cool. I like it a lot. And the AT-AT, -AT, okay. yeah, I hope Star Wars Land is cool. I hope it's really cool. Please, I Disney. I think it's going to be awesome. Please, I hope one of those rides is my favorite. I hope. I hope. I don't think the Millennium Falcon one will be my favorite, though. I think it's going to be that other one. That other one. The whole, uh, like, First Order stuff. There's going to be, like, AT-ATs in, like, the queue line stuff or something. Like, they built a huge building around. Like, yeah. Anyway. What's your goal? Or do you like Star Tours? If I, yeah. If I didn't get ill. Do you go, do you go on it once? Or do you not go on it at all? I will go on it one time. Okay. I can make it once. But then after Some of that, these rides are, like, a rite of passage. But Star Tours, not so much. Wait until you go on Astro Orbiter, then your life will be changed. Oh, God. One of these days. I just want to wait in that line. I'm just like, dumb. Like, <laughs> if they put it in a building, I'd ride it. Like, because I'd be like, I don't know what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> that's how rides get me. If I don't, I like to have the mystery. Okay. okay. That's why Tower of Terror is so cool. Yeah, because you can't see what's happening. Yeah. All right. Hit me with the gold. Rockin'. Rockin'. Rockin roller coaster. Featuring or starring a little Aero. band. Aerosmith? Aerosmith. Just kidding. Yes. I actually saw a sticker on some of the on like the back of somebody's truck the other day where he was doing the sign, which I know they take out now, right? Yeah. The Wait a minute. I love that idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah I saw it and I was like, oh my god! It probably like had no reference, sign. but yeah, yeah, that's a. Oh, I love that ride. I that now back in the day I could like go on that in a single rider like some you know like a bunch of times, so now I can't and yeah. just get ill. But what do you love about it? Well, yell it, yell it to the world. Theming, and then starting off, and then going upside down, yeah. is fun. And I just like that everything's so bright in there. Yeah. With the lights and stuff. The <laughs> only thing, I guess, like the older I've gotten, the more I've, I get kind of frustrated with the fact that it's just like 2D. Like it almost feels like cardboard that they put. They, did, I mean, that's what it is. Yeah, or whatever the it's, wood. Or I mean, whatever. they make it look like neon kind of. You pass by it so stuff. fast that you probably don't notice it. But I'm the type of guy where you're going upside down and I'm like looking at all this stuff. I'm not just like, this is fun. I'm like, yeah. Wood, I'm scrutinizing. Uh, that's just me though. But yeah, rocking. Yeah. That's a good pick. Rocking's a really good pick. Really? Why? Yeah, because guess what? It's my gold too, baby. Rock and roller coaster. Oh my gosh! If you don't put rock and roller coaster as your number one ride, you're doing MGM wrong. All right, you're doing a disservice yeah. to yourself and your family. Because guess what? What it does is the theming is great. You got that stupid little show in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And if you're smart enough and the cast member's not there, you can be like, hey, Steven, how about some backstage passes? And then like he'll be like, wait a minute. I love that idea. How about we get him some backstage passes? I've done it. Other people have started doing it now too. So it's like kind of like a group cult fun thing. Like people do it together. Like we're all like in it together. Uh, the stupid like little LA entrance, like the back alley, very uh, reminiscent of LA. It's always under construction, LA. Uh, but that launch, man, that launch is so good. And seeing it is so good. Because if you're, like, kind yeah. of scared about the ride, seeing that, you're like, oh, my gosh. That's what I'm going to be doing in about, I don't know, a couple minutes. Yeah. I had a fun little story. Uh, I think I told you this, but we'll share it with all the Legionnaires here. There was this lady I'd seen in line who had this, I think it was, like, a sick Thanos shirt. And I'd seen her outside, and I was like, that's a really cool shirt. Or whatever. And she's like, oh, thanks, man. Because I was just like, when you're Disney, we're all friends. <laughs> um, I'm in the car ready to launch that lady comes out of the showroom area and she sees me and i was like that's still a really cool shirt later and then we shot off <laughs> like i planned it and i was like that was the coolest exit of my life steven tyler's just like, <laughs> like i was like yeah and like after you do it a few times you feel, you know what the launch is going to be so you can have fun with the picture yes which right away but once you get into it if you like aerosmith even if you don't it's really good. You get the red carpet at the end. You're kind of walking out. You're like, oh, that was crazy. Like, you know. Yeah, the red carpet is really cool. And then they have, like, your pictures right yeah. away. And they have it, too. like, in, like, the uh, like drum cases or, like, the equipment cases. Like, yeah. there's some pretty cool theming yeah, in there. And that's cool. You, like, walk out and you're like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. yeah. Aerosmith, man. Uh, rockin' is just a fun yeah. ride. If they, like, changed it with a different band, I don't think it would be no. as It wouldn't be the same. Great. I don't think so. I think they've talked about doing that, but... Like, and you could you could switch it out. Honestly, it would be like the yeah. ending and the beginning would be the switch, and you just change out the music. That would be it. You just yeah. be like, it's still in LA. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I really like Rock and Roller Coaster though. It's fun. It's really good. 
But what are yours? I want to know what your guys' are, because I know people out there are watching home, they're like, he said Swirling Saucers is one of his favorite... Star Wars isn't open yet, and guess what? Toy Story is overrated. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Midway Mania. Like, are you waiting in that line that long? You're not going to get a top score. I'm sorry. But if you enjoy it, have fun with it. <laughs> have you looked at the top scores? You get, you get done with it, and you're like, that was pretty good. And then you're like, for the day, is like double what you did. For like the oh. month, it's like triple. And you're like, how did they... I yeah, got on there, and it broke down. Like... Um... I got to a part of it, and it was just a blank screen, and there was nothing there, and it was like, bah, 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 bah. And I was just like, <laughs> bah, 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 bah. yeah, like, come on. I was like, uh, but I do like that the loading area is fun. Yeah, that I like is it. cool. Yeah, but anyway, please let us know in the comments down below. We'll be back doing an Animal Kingdom one here, I'm sure, pretty soon, which I am super stoked about, because Animal Kingdom has started to fight for my top spot for number one of the parks. Yeah. At night, it is bleeping amazing. It is so good. I'm so jealous. I haven't been there yet. Mm, it's so good. Oh my god, there's so many people playing music and stuff. It's, oh man, Animal Kingdom. I love you so much. Uh, anyway, if you want to support us, consider liking this video. If you've liked a few of our videos, consider subscribing to us if you'd like to do that. If you want to get some sweet t-shirts, we don't have them on right now, but you can go check out our spreadsheet or donate to us over on patreon.com slash critical reviews. Support us, support this show, and share it around with people. If you want to do something for free, that's a great way to help us. Uh, anything else, Katie? Nope. Excellent. All right. Well, <laughs> until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, I should say see you real soon. See you.